Okay, and welcome back. Um, this is for math for business and finance and students of math applications and we're doing chapter two summary practice test and we left off at question number 13. So I'm going to pick up with question number 14 and get to the slide. Okay, question number 14. Quiznos produces 640 rolls per hour. If the oven runs 12 and a quarter hours, how many rolls will the machine produce? Uh, before I get started there, um, let me see here. Uh, there was another problem that was similar to this. Ah, problem number uh, two dot. 51. Okay, so that was in the word problems uh, 2.51. That problem is similar to this, so if you want um, additional insight, go ahead and watch that video and for that problem and see how it relates to this. Okay, so if I have 640 rolls an hour, okay, and it's running at 12 and a quarter hours how many rolls will the machine produce? So I need to multiply the 640 rolls by 12 and a quarter hours. But again, since this here is a mixed number, we need to convert it into a fraction. So uh, four times 12 is 48, plus one is 49 over four. And 640 is a whole number, so I put it over one and that converts it into a fraction. And now I can reduce, all right? Four can go in the four once. Four can go in the 640. That's four and the six goes once. That's 24. Six, that's 160. And um, if I uh, multiply that out, okay, um, 160 times 49. 0, 54, 4, 5, 14, 4, 0, 4 times 6 is 24, 6, 0, 4, 8, 7. So that's 7,840 over 1 times 1 is 1. So my answer is 7840. That's how many rolls they produce during that 12 and 1 quarter hour period. Okay, problem number 15. A taste test survey of Zing Farms showed that two-thirds of the people surveyed prefer the taste of veggie burgers to regular burgers. So immediately, here's what I'm thinking. Two-thirds, this is one-third, and this is two-thirds. Two-thirds of the people surveyed preferred veggie burgers versus regular burgers. So that means one-third prefers regular burgers, two-thirds, right? So all I'm doing is taking one and I'm subtracting the two-thirds and I'm saying, oops, I'm getting one-third. If 90,000 people were in the survey, 90,000 people were in the survey, how many favored veggie burgers? And how many chose regular burgers? Well, again, if this is one, and just like we had done, I had said, okay, two-thirds prefer veggies, so now I know that one-third um, prefers the regular. What we can do is we can say, okay, we want to figure out our uh, veggie burgers, so we multiply by two-thirds, and we reduce one, uh, three into three goes once, three into 90,000 goes 30,000 times, and we multiply uh, 30,000 times two, so we get 60,000 and one over one, because remember that was over one, right? whole numbers are over one. So we end up with 60,000 like veggie burgers. And then I can take the 90,000 and subtract the 60,000 and get 30,000 like the regular burgers. That's one way of doing it. Uh, and just remember that the K for any of the, anyone who's watching this, the K represents is just a, a symbol representation of a thousand, three zeros. Okay, that's why over here I wrote 60,000. I could have written it 60K. All right, 
that's just a, a short quick method that uh, accountants use in order to write those larger numbers instead of writing gazillions and gazillions of zeros okay All right but anyway back to the problem here um, so I took two-thirds came up with the veggie burgers and knowing that uh, the difference between the two would give me my regular I could have I just go went ahead and subtracted I could have said okay since I know that um, the regular burgers are one-third I could have done the same thing I could have taken 90,000 and then multiplied that by one-third all right and that gives me uh, I'm reducing here canceling so that gives me 30,000 and I would have come up with 30,000 over one which is the 30,000 I could have done it in either way and arrived at the same answer okay all right number 16 uh, and I only have two questions left so I'll try to get through these um, Jim James was an employee of enterprise company uh, let's see here there was another problem there let me look real quick um, <laughs> Look, let me look. Ah, two, two dot thirty-seven in the word problems, similar to this one. Okay. All right. So, Jim James, an employee, worked nine and a quarter, four and a half, nine and a quarter, seven and a half, and nine. How many total hours did Jim work during the week? Right. So I have. Let's do it here nine and a quarter plus four oops let me make that bigger plus four and a half plus nine and a quarter plus seven and a half plus nine All right we have different denominators so we need to convert them all into the same denominator well, we can see this is relatively easy. You know, two can go into four, so our lowest combinator is going to be four. Right? So two and the four goes two. Two times one is two. Nine and a quarter plus seven and two fourths plus nine. So now we can add up all of our whole numbers. So 9 and 4 is 13, and 9 is 22, and 7 is 29, and 9 is 38. Okay. And now we put our denominator of 4 and add up our numerators. So I have 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So that's six fourths, and of course, since that's an improper fraction, um, four can go into six one time. So now our 38 becomes 39, and so six into four goes once, and I'm left with two, two left over. So I have two fourths, and I reduce that. Two into two goes once, and two into four goes two times. So I have 39 and a half. Okay, and that's the total number of hours that were worked during the week. All right, last question. Uh, question number 17. Uh, JCPenney offered a one-third rebate on its $39 hair dryer. Joan bought a JCPenney hair dryer. Good for Joan. <laughs> what did Joan pay after the rebate? Okay, so if the hair dryer is $39 and the rebate, we're going to multiply by one, the rebate is one-third, we're going to, you know, we can figure out how much the rebate is, but and then subtract it from the dollar amount. Or because we're we can go and say, okay, well, since it was one third rebate, right? That means I'm pay, you know, I'm only paying two thirds of that amount. Again, here's the whole. Here's and so this here is one third. Well, if if this whole thing represented thirty nine dollars. And I'm uh, got to keep keep writing as one thirds. If I, you know, if the rebate was one third, that means two thirds is what I'm is left over. That's what I'm actually going to pay after I've taken the discount. So I can take the thirty nine t 
times the two thirds and come up with the, the correct answer, right? Which is what I'm going to do. I don't, I, I just did the uh, subtraction portion by, you know, it was easier for me to say, oh, I have, I'm dealing with thirds. And if I have one third, that means I have two thirds left over, right? Instead of having to multiply by one third and then, some, you know, and coming up with an answer and then subtracting it from 39. It, it was just easier for me to say, oh, one third rebate, two thirds is what I'm going to pay. And now let me multiply by two thirds. So 39 over one, all right? Three can go into three one time. I'm canceling. Three into 39 goes 13 times. So 13 times two is 26. One times one is one. So I'm going to pay $26 um, for that uh, hair dryer. Okay. If I had done it the other way, I would have had to go and say, okay, 39 over one. So uh, three can go into three one time. Three can go into 39 13 times. So uh, 13 times one is 13. One times one is one. So my rebate was $13, but that's not how much I paid. That's the rebate portion. That's this portion over here. So I need to subtract the 13 from the 39 in order to find out what the remaining portion over here was, which is the $26. Okay. All right. And that's it. And I'll see you uh, in chapter three.